Hello, my name is Chris from AV Equipment. Today we're going to go through the Timbermax T20 HD traction winch. The winch is connected to the spade with four pins, two on each side. Nice big panels open up. Gain access to the control valves, to the winch motor. Lots of access, very easy to get at everything. The winch spade has a high pressure filter in it. We gain access for servicing by simply opening up the nice large panel. Also in the spade is a large 25 litre accumulator for supplying hydraulic oil to the winch. At the front of the winch, we have our pivoting main sheath. We also have two lights, one on each side, and a horn. These provide an audio and visual indicator of a fault with the winch. The winch has onboard electronics, positioned behind the panel here, easy to gain access. We can check fuses and any other wiring. This winch module is communicating with the module that's in the excavator and also wirelessly to the traction winch or the tethered machine down the hill. At the front of the winch, under the main cover, we can see our tensioning motor and tensioning chain. This allows us to feed rope on and off the drum using our remote without it bunching or becoming slack on the drum. This is the Timbermax excavator module that's installed in the cab of the excavator that's providing the hydraulic power to the winch. We're able to start and stop the excavator remotely using our remote. We're able to get the fuel level of this machine and it gets transmitted down to the slope machine, the man, the man who's tethered down the hill, so that he knows the machine's not gonna run out of fuel. Also grabs hydraulic oil level to make sure that we haven't got any leaks on the base that's gonna run the machine out of oil. This box also allows the winch to take control of the engine revs and our Timbermax flow control valve that we've installed. So the winch then ramps up the engine revs and the flow demands that's, that's being required by the winch. Does it all as soon as you switch it on. Manually spool the rope off the drum from here as well, or we can use the remote. We have an alarm if our hydraulic oil level is low, and we have a light showing our communication with the winch is, is all active. Here we have the Timbermax iWinch screen. This is what the operator looks at and uses to control the tonnage on the line pool. Very simple touch screen use. Everything's just done by fingertip. If he wants to change his downhill uh, pull, for instance, touch, move the slider with your fingertip, hit OK, done, as simple as that. On the main screen, we also have our camera picture of the winch drum, so the operator can keep track of the winch drum while it's going to make sure there's no problems inside the winch drum. We have a cable indicator, both in terms of wraps and in meters. Resettable each time for the operator, so he knows when he's getting close to the winch or when he knows he's getting far out and almost used up the 420 meters of cable. Another features of the iWinch, we have a menu set here. We can easily see winch setup mode, which is usually done at the initial setup. And once it's all set, we don't have to touch it again. We can see our hour meters and stats, which also gives us the number of hours the cable has been used for, gives us an interval for the next rope maintenance time and for gearbox oil change. We have a menu here for our manuals. We have our operating manual, maintenance manual, hydraulic diagram, spare parts and wiring diagram. For instance, if I tap on the hydraulic diagram, it brings up the full screen of the iWinch 
and it is just like a normal tablet. Use your fingers, expand it out to see what it is. The valves are named, which is also replicated on the main control valve itself, so you can identify which valve you're looking at. We have a diagnostic screen, five pages, but the most important one I usually use is our winch diagnostic. This straight away shows me what the winch is requesting from the base machine and what is being sent. It shows us our milliamps going to our drive motors, which gives us our speed. And it also shows our cable extraction pressure. So we, we can see this working now. If I hit our minimum force, we see our machine pressure drop right off and our tonnage drop right off as well on the main screen. Release the button, pressure comes back up. Hit max force button, pressure rises right up to our maximum. And release. And then it reverts back to our not moving stance. It's a very simple screen. A lot of information there, nothing's hidden. It's simple to use and it's a very, very good tool. So there you have it, the Timbermax T20 HD traction winch. A strong, reliable, versatile winch for all your traction winch requirements.